Hollywood heavyweight Sandra Bullock lights up the screen in the film Gravity, also starring George Clooney. But it's the movie's special effects which steal the limelight. Their faces are real, but little else aboard this space station is. Created painstakingly in a London basement by visual effects company Framestore. A workforce of up to 500 spent three years perfecting the CGI with the help of footage from NASA and a leap or two of imagination. As soon as you get to things that haven't been filmed, like the space station being destroyed or fire in space, fire under zero gravity, there's minimal, minimal reference of that. We just had to kind of, you know, from your understanding of the theory of space, extrapolate that to imagine what would really happen, how things would behave, and from that, how they would look. Explore, do you copy? Explore, permission to retrieve Dr. Stone. For the Oscar-nominated blockbuster, Framestore had to push the frontiers of technology, co-creating the light box, a cage filled with two million tiny LEDs designed to simulate the harsh light of space. From high-tech to low-tech, a broom handle was used to hit Sandra Bullock on the head to simulate her being bounced around inside the capsule. Designers spent an entire year building a digital replica of the International Space Station, the devil being in the detail. When we had made the CG spacesuit a copy of the real one that Sandra was wearing on set, and we had a review with the director, and he mis he didn't remember that we hadn't shot her in the real suit for that particular bit, and he thought that the suit that we had made in CG was the real suit. We knew then that we'd nailed it and that he'd completely, uh, he'd completely fallen for it. And to help graphic artists mimic human movement, motion capture suits like this were used, plotting real action on a virtual landscape. London has in recent years become a hub for the visual effects industry, a boom that began with the successful Harry Potter series of films, and more recently included Inception, Life of Pi and Prometheus. There were three new design technologies that didn't exist before that were created for the film, and then were applied to other, all kinds of other films and advertising and television. And Tim Burton, when he was making the Batman movies here, said that he couldn't access visual effects that could be any better than London. They were the best, they are the most cutting edge. Generous tax incentives have helped visual effects studios here win business, to the fury of Hollywood. An estimated £287 million is now spent on the industry in Britain each year. A solid financial grounding for a booming tech hub with its head firmly in the stars.